Veterans make up a large amount of the homeless population in our community. So today, one local group is hitting the streets to help our nation's heroes in need. First Coast News Shelby Danielson talked to one of the directors and has more. We've been following this amazing group of volunteers, over 100 volunteers trying to take the first ever summertime homeless census around Jacksonville. You can see a group of volunteers right behind us here and they've been scouring downtown Jacksonville from 5 to 9 a.m. and then again tonight from 5 to 9 p.m. We're going to talk to Joe Wolf. He's on the board of directors with Changing Homelessness. And Joe, why is this so important to Jacksonville? It's really important that we get an accurate count of everybody who's experiencing homelessness um, to make sure that we can actually uh, be a data driven community and reach a, what we call functional zero. Uh, functional zero is basically when anybody who experiences homelessness, the support system is there to get them back into housing as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, right now we have too many people who are experiencing homelessness and not enough support and services to wrap around them. So that's what we're trying to do is get to the point where we can help those people as they become homeless to really shorten that time frame that they experience it. And I know for um, how people can help you, they can donate by going to the website changing homelessness um, but they also can volunteer when you guys do this in January right yes yes we are always looking for volunteers and even throughout the year there's other service providers in town too that are always looking for help and support and, and just extra hands to, to help get some work done all right Joe thank you so much I'll let you get back to it I know that you guys are very busy this morning thanks to their efforts the homeless veteran population has decreased by about 50% over the last three years in Jacksonville which is amazing we're gonna continue to follow their efforts and have more information on our website. Downtown Jacksonville, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News. And volunteers are also going to be giving out water, socks, and hygiene kits to veterans and others who are homeless as they interact with them throughout the community.